Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm running outside with the camera, even though the sun is starting to set, because I wanted to give you guys a little update on Miss Helen. I know you, you are with me in camaraderie as we wait for this calf to be born, and we're so excited. There go the Noahs. Bye, Noah. Tomorrow, we're having a gender reveal for Noah's baby. I'm so excited too. Can't wait. Maybe we can have a gender reveal of the cow too. <laughs> yeah. Helen's baby. Yeah, so we know it's supposed to be a female. Hopefully it is. Jeremiah's holding out hope that Noah's having a little girl. I kind of have a feeling that it's going to be a boy. I'm team boy. I'm team girl, yeah. I believe. Yeah, they they think it's gonna be a girl. I think maybe I only know how to expect boys. <laughs> yeah. So maybe true. that's what it is. <laughs> Are you going home? Yeah. All right, love, love you. you. <laughs> I think using this GoPro that you might be able to actually see the sunset. Can y'all see that color behind me? So Miss Helen was out here. I came out about an hour ago and she was intensely uncomfortable looking. So swollen. Um, of course, her due date was Sunday, which that's based on when she was artificially inseminated. But I did learn, uh, someone actually shared this with me and I did some research about it, um, that when a cow is artificially inseminated, they might not actually conceive for up to five days after the insemination. And so she could really just now be due. Of course, the way due dates work, you can go one way or another around them. I actually don't see her, which is curious. Oh yes, I do, she's out in the field. For a second, I thought maybe she had tucked behind the barn. It was giving birth. Bear, where are you going? All of the goats are currently locked up in the goat barn. I'm gonna leave them in there. I'm assuming Jeremiah did that because he's over there working on the stanchion and the goats have a tendency to wanna climb all over whatever it is that you're doing. I can't free you. Can't help you. <laughs> They've got hay and water in there, so they're okay. Look at that sunset. It's pretty. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Oh, dang, I brought Bear in here with me. Bear, leave her alone. So recently I said I don't usually bring Bear in here uh, because he and Gabriel, it's not that they don't get along. It's just that when they're trying to assert dominance, they're just very pesky chasing each other around, trying to see who's gonna be the boss. And Gabriel's the boss between the two of them. Uh, Okay, weirdly, this is the exact same place Helen was when I shot the video that I posted yesterday. So you can see here, her udder is so swollen. I just cannot believe how swollen it is. Bear, you better leave her alone. She's super swollen. I just feel bad for her. I really thought that she was like starting to, to start labor a little while ago. Because I came on her and she was laying down and gosh, she just looked so uncomfortable. And I was texting my friend Hannah, who I got hope from, and she was just kind of instructing me what to look for. Because, you know, I, I don't know, like, should I be worried? Is this normal? And I'm asking all these questions being a helicopter cow mom. But she assured me that it's probably fine. And that when you get concerned is when you see them actively pushing and nothing's happening. But where she is now, she's not acting stressed out. She's clearly fine. I don't have a reason to be worried. And uh, I shared a photo on Instagram of how uncomfortable she looked lying down. And my friend Rebecca messaged me and said, it'll probably still be tomorrow. She was like, it's always like when they get to that point that you cannot think it can get any more uncomfortable looking and they still go one more day. Katie girl, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> look at her running. Jeremiah calls her Falcor. <laughs> <laughs> She's running across the field, <laughs> especially when her hair is kind of long. She does kind of look like Falcor. Never ending story for those of you who might be too young for that reference. So Noah is kind of hoping that Helen 
has her baby tomorrow morning. Oh, hello turkeys. So that it can be on the day of the gender reveal because he's saying, oh, we could both have our gender reveal. But he's hoping that it's early enough in the morning that I, it won't interfere with me making food. <laughs> so hopefully that's the case. Hopefully she'll have half the calf and we can wrap it up and make sure everything's just fine in time for me to still host a gender reveal in the evening. What are you doing, Bear? Hey, baby. What are you doing? I'm um, shooting a video. Shooting a video? For your own channel? Uh, yeah. I'm so proud of you. Are we telling people about that? I've mentioned it. Great. <laughs> you can't back out now. No. Well, I spent all day shooting, so yeah. I gotta go change out the battery pack so I can finish. Oh, it looks good. You wanna give him a sneak peek while I go change the battery? Yeah, I'm gonna give him a sneak peek. So Maya has been building the stanchion, and he did shoot a how-to video explaining all of his decision-making and how he came up with this. So um, he's getting some stuff worked out, but he'll be uploading the videos he has shot and continuing to shoot videos to put on that channel. It's just gonna make things a little more easy to find when it comes to tutorial stuff because he's really wanting to make like how to's tutorials you know like kind of teaching basics for the building side of homesteading and the i guess sort of the maintenance side and it's gonna be really good really the the main reason is because it's just gonna make the videos easier to find and access and go back to because it really is more evergreen content Oh, here comes Helen. She's looking pretty wide. Looking pretty wide. Hey, girl. So y'all can kind of see they carry those babies on the passenger side. So she has really been feeling the neck rubs today. I've checked on her quite a few times and she likes to come up and snuggle me. But yeah, she's, look she's hanging real low over here. Soon... All right, we're gonna walk over here through the garden. As long as the picture looks like it's picking up, it's getting dark out here pretty quickly and kind of cold. Come on, bear. The weather is supposed to get colder again this weekend. And they were talking briefly about another chance of snow. And of course, <laughs> that's such a rare thing here for it to happen twice in a week it would be pretty crazy, but I've been looking at the weather radar. I don't know that that's gonna happen. I got that one snow in, which I really enjoyed. And then I was over it. I'm pretty much ready for spring to come now. So check out the onion and garlic garden. Um, so right now, this is all planted. Bear, back up. Don't go in that garden, come on. So this is all planted. We've got two rows of onions, three of garlic. And then these two are going to be onions. I've got this soil prepared and we'll probably go ahead and plant in it if we have enough. And I think we probably will. Katie, don't walk in the gardens. You have much to learn, young grasshopper. So we probably will plant in this soil if we have leftover onions and garlic, and I think we will. But I did want to lay down more compost here. We'd started to, and I was like, actually, let's wait. Because I'm planning on doing raised beds on either side of this gate. And I don't want to waste compost by putting on the ground and then putting raised beds on it. I Bear, why do you do these things? If there's water, Bear just cannot help himself. And that is this little ditch thing next to the well house. Thankfully, it's it hasn't rained the last handful of days, so it's not super deep. So only his paws are muddy. So we come out here and he'll like jump in that and be muddy up to his back. And then he wants to go inside and lay on the couch. But I am still working out what this plan is gonna be over time. Um, I don't know how much of the raised bed stuff we're going to even do this year. Uh, so I, I don't know, but I decided to stop and not put any more compost down here because I don't want to waste the compost. But it looks really good. I'm really pleased with this. Um, I don't see any like pest damage where they're really messing with it. 
um, we are going to go ahead and mulch these um, because they need that, especially before the, the temperatures drop and just to protect them. I had several comments on my last video where I showed starting this with the Noah's and everybody was like, wow, how's it feel to plant like the first big garden space? This is 2000 square feet, by the way, of garlic and onions. And it feels fantastic to plant my first big garden space here on our new farm. You know, we're coming up on breaking ground on the window greenhouse, which is right here. Um, we've got the foundation laid for the high tunnels. I've ordered some fruit trees and berry bush bushes from Stark Brothers. And right now, I am so filled with anticipation and excitement because seed starting is upon us. Um, planting the perennial stuff is upon us. And just putting this in and knowing that we, in doing this, are creating hundreds of pounds of food for us this summer. It's just so thrilling. Um, I said to the Noahs in that video, there's something about it, you know, it, when people are like, this is the best ever, and you're like, dang, Skippy, I agree that. And that is what I feel whenever I've got, like, this great food that we were able to grow. It's such a huge blessing. I just love it. It evokes a deep sense of gratitude in me. Bear, come on. Bear, Katie, let's go inside. I think Katie must already, oh yeah, she already ran up there. But it does, it, it evokes just a tremendous sense of gratitude in me to be able to grow food. And yes, I was very thrilled to get our first food garden, our first big food garden in the ground, um, knowing how much more we have coming and watching as we get closer and closer to welcoming our first calf ever born on our farm. It is extremely thrilling. So thank you guys for hanging out with me briefly this evening. Just wanted to update you today. I bless you. Until next time.